will rejoice and be glad in it. And good morning to everyone. And before we get started with praise and worship, we're first going to get started with the word of prayer. Let's bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day, O oh God. We thank you for a brand new mercy that you have allowed us to see, O oh Lord. And oh Lord, we ask you to come into this place, O oh Lord, and let your presence reign. In Jesus' name, amen. How many of you know that we are a friend of God? You have 
Oh, God, 
and that you touch his family, touch his wife on this day, God. Oh, God, touch her in a mighty way, God. Touch her in a mighty way, Jesus. Oh, God, put a shield of protection around her, God. Guide her, God. Guide her in the way that you would have her to go, God. Oh, God, we just want to give you the praise on this day, God. Oh, God, we come to you today full of thanks. Thanks in our heart, thanks in our soul, God. Oh, God, we just want to thank you, God. Because we don't take nothing for granted, God. We don't take nothing for granted, God. Oh, God, just touch in a mighty way. God, touch our nation on today, God. Oh, God, go with them today, God. As we go with our programs on this week, God, we ask that you touch, God. Stir up, God. Ask you to walk the streets of D.C., God. Touch in a mighty way, God. Touch in a mighty way, God. You said that we put you first, God. We need to put you first, Jesus. We need to put you first, God. We put these things in your hand, God. Not man's hand, but your hand, God. Touch in a mighty way, Jesus. Oh, God, we ask that you touch the person. Touch him, God. Change his heart. Change his spirit on the day, God. Oh, God, touch him in a mighty way, God. Let him know, God, that you are God and beside you there is no other God. Touch him in a mighty way, God. Oh, God, I know you can touch him, Jesus. All we need is one touch from you, God. Oh, God, but we ask that you go with him, Jesus. Go with him, God. Change his heart. Change his mind on today, God. Because we know that you are able, God. Oh, God, we just want to ask you to touch this COVID on today, God. Let man know that it's not COVID, but it's you, Jesus. That you are the way, the way, the way to heal this nation, God. All we got to do is turn it back to you, God. And you will heal the land on today, God. You will heal the land on today, God. Help us to turn to you, God. Help us to trust in you, God. Not in man, God. Not in man, Jesus, but in you, Jesus. Oh, God, there is a hidden out there, God. There is a hidden out there, God. But man must turn it back to you. God. Man must turn back to you, God. Oh, God, change their hearts and their minds on today, God. Let them realize, let them realize that you are God. You are God. You are God. Not me. Oh, God, I just want to bless you and praise you on this day, God. Bless you on this day, because you're worthy. You're worthy, God, to be praised on this day, God. And I'm going to give you the praise. I'm going to give you the praise on this day, God. Touch us in the mighty way, God, because we need you on this morning, God. Oh, God, I ask you to receive this prayer. Receive this prayer, God, in your precious name. In your precious name. Amen. Amen. Amen.
this far for the prayer and the prayer response. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. We want to thank Sister Gloria. Amen. For let the Lord use her on today. Amen. Hallelujah. And for our songbird and amen, our musician, Sister Teresa, how she sings, amen, from the depth of our heart. And we thank Brother Isaac for being with us today. Amen. Brother Tyrone is not able to be here today, but he had one that was standing by. Amen. And the brother rap on the drums. Amen. Just amen. Hallelujah. Like he know what he's doing. <laughs> and I believe he does. God bless you. Amen. Of course, Brandon is here and Sister Linda is here. And amen. First lady is coming now. Amen. To speak to our children. To everyone in Facebook land. We are so glad to have you tuning in with the Evans Metropolitan Church on today. Amen. Hallelujah. First Lady, amen, is coming now. We ask that you will bring the children close that they may hear, amen, what thus says the Lord, amen, through, amen, this woman of God. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. I would like to say hello to our little children. As time moves on and gets closer and closer, that we will see your little faces here in the sanctuary. Amen. This morning I want to talk about <clears throat> John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus came to save the lost. They criticized Jesus for going into the houses of sinners. They talked about him for eating with tax collectors, Jesus would tell them, I have not come to call the righteous, but he came to save the sinners. God looked down and saw how bad people were living. They were killing, they were stealing, they were cheating, lying, backbiting, just everything you think they could have been doing. He knew he had to do something so he sent Jesus to cover us and to save us from our sins. Because the punishment of sin is death. So Jesus, who had no sin, died for our sins so we wouldn't have to. Amen. Then he sent the Holy Ghost to lead and guide us. Before God sent Jesus, he would look down and we would just be a ball of confusion, ugly, dirty. So God sent Jesus to cover us. So whenever God looked down on us, he didn't see all that dirty, filthy sin that we had. He only saw Jesus, the blood of Jesus covering us. So, then he sent the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost would go in there and work it out and throw out hate and throw out lying and throw out bullying and throw out killing and throw out stealing and cheating and all the bad things. So when God returned, this is what we looked like. White as snow. Seeing God, who is righteous, can see us, can look upon us. Just remember, we all have done things that we shouldn't have done, that we were ashamed of. But let us remember to ask God to help us to be the best that we can be, to be the best Christians that we can be. So when, when he comes back, we will be clean and white as snow, and we can walk on the golden streets of heaven with God. Amen. Have a blessed week. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Sister Linda is not a magician. Amen. She is just.
just a blessed woman of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, we thank God. Amen. But like Jesus Christ, he has the power to save us from all our sins. All we need to do is believe and trust in him, and he will do mighty things for us. Amen. We're going to now have our pre-message and song. Amen. Sister Gloria and Sister Dorita is coming now to bless us. And then I will give to you what the Lord have impressed upon my heart.
take a moment and let the Lord saturate our souls. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And Gloria, while you were praying and also while you were singing, Lord was saying also unto me, to say to you, you're going to be all right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Gloria has to go and see the doctor this week. Hallelujah. All of us, when we have to see the doctor, we do have a, a bit of concern. But her faith is strong. Yes, yes, yes. Her faith is strong. Yes. Yes. And the Bible says, Amen, Hallelujah, that your faith, yes. Hallelujah, yes. will make you whole. Yes. Yes. Amen. So, yes. holy lean on Jesus' name. Oh, yes. And I believe it will work Jesus. miracles. Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us keep one another in prayer. Surely, amen, it is a time, and thank you for praying, in a way that, amen, that our land may be healed. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I pray, God, that we will have, amen, a very peaceful transition of power on this week, this Wednesday coming during the inauguration. There are many that are out there that claim to love God and that Jesus is their Savior. But you know, faith in the Lord God Almighty is more than words. We must show it also in action. So whatever it is you may have thought about in disrupting the peaceful transition of the power of the presidency, I call you today to realize that God's eyes is on this nation. And if this nation is to survive, we must trust in God first. Believe in Jesus Christ and bring ourselves into submission. The Bible says, submit yourself therefore unto God. Resist the devil and he shall flee from thee. For those who know how to do good and do it not, to that person it is sin. And as Sister Lindell said today, the wages of sin is death, separation from the Almighty God. I speak to those that have a thought of disrupting the peaceful transition of power for the presidency and to the vice presidency. I call you to peace. I call you to look upon the history of our nation how peace has brought prosperity to our land. God bless you. Amen. But that's not what I came to preach about this morning. Mm -hmm. all right. I thought that we all needed to hear 
that God is still on the throne and his eyes are on each and every one of us. That's the reason why the Lord led me to the scriptural text today. And the scriptural text will come, amen, and I've got to ask Renata forgiveness for I did not send her my scriptural text and neither did I send her my subject. But Renata, you can catch it here. In the book of Matthew, the fifth chapter, and the 13th verse. Now, it goes on to the 16th verse, but I'm going to deal with the 14th, the 15th, and the 16th verse next week. But today we want to deal with the 13th verse of the 5th chapter of Matthew, which reads, You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has lost its Savior, Come on now. wherein shall it be salted? It is therefore good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under the, under the foot of men. Amen. Matthew, 5th chapter, 13th verse. And let me speak to you from this subject. It's time to pass the salt. It's time to pass the salt. You know, it seems in this particular passage of Scripture, as Jesus was preaching on the mount, the Sermon on the Mount, in speaking to his disciples and to the multitude, he was allowing them to understand the character of a Christian. For there are those, as I forestated, that call themselves Christians, but God knows they're acting like the devil. If the Spirit of God is in us, Jesus said we should be and must be the salt of the earth. For if it is that we have lost our Savior, not Savior, but our Savior, we are good for nothing but to be tossed out and to be thrown or to be trodden under the foot of men. Amen. In other words, Jesus was a man looking at the character of of the Christian. It is quite clear in this text, Jesus is saying our influence is found in the person that we truly are. If we say that God is on our side and we say that Jesus is our Savior, then surely we ought to act uh, like Jesus. Or, am I right about that? Amen. He's saying, you are the salt of the earth. Yeah. And you have salt, or you should be dispensing salt, if you will. Yeah. But, amen, he didn't say that, amen, that you should be dispensing the salt, so to speak. But what he's saying is that you are the salt. In other words, you have to have a taste uh, that tastes like Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, not to be a salty Christian, uh, but a character which exercises influence in our church. A character which exercises influence in our community. 
and a character which exercises influence in our society. We cannot enable folks to go and to do things uh, which we know are not right, but to influence them on doing uh, what is right. Uh, not that we have been doing wrong for so long that now we think it is right, but to put ourselves in check. I, I know we're not going to say amen to that, but some of us need to put ourselves in check. Y'all know what I'm talking about. None of us can exercise influence on other people by our words. If what we say is not backed up by what we are. You know, actions speak louder than words. You must understand that centuries ago, the Romans uh, 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 contended that salt was the purest of all things uh, because it came for the purest of all the elements that there is. Uh, uh, it came from the sea uh, and it came from the sun. Uh, it was very pure within its form. Uh, if Christians are to be the salt of the earth, they must be examples of purity. Amen. Uh, a Christian must hold high standard in purity of speech. Yes. They must hold high standards in purity of conduct. Yes. They must hold high standards in purity of their actions. Uh, uh, you, you see, salt cannot be ignored, uh, ignored, if you will. It has a positive influence. We cannot fail to recognize uh, its presence. Uh, example, if you put too much salt in your food, uh, it becomes salty and you can't eat it or you won't enjoy it. But if there is no salt in there, the first thing to say is pass the salt. Pass the salt. Why? Salt has savor. Am I right about that? Jesus said, you are the salt. And since we are the salt, we ought to be free uh, in preserving and purifying uh, uh, others that need to be savored. For when we look over the country, we look, amen, hallelujah, in the streets uh, of our cities and the streets of our, say, uh, uh, our state, and amen, hallelujah, the streets all over this nation, we realize that folks uh, have gotten real salty. Uh, and unfortunately, sometimes the saltiness is right within uh, God's church. We are to exercise our influence in the here and the now, in our communities, uh, on our jobs, wherever we are. Yes. We must realize salt does its most effective work by being brought directly in contact with the substance uh, that is trying to change. Uh, we are the children of the light. Uh, we are the children uh, of the almighty God. Uh, we are joint heirs with Jesus Christ. We ought to make a difference uh, in somebody's life. Uh, you talk about praying for your mother. You talk about praying for your father. You talk about praying for your children. You want your family to be saved. Uh, but somehow uh, you get real salty. Uh, you get out of line. Uh, but God said uh, you need to bring yourself. Uh, bring it back. Uh, check yourself. Uh, and let God know uh, he's on the throne. Uh, it's not about us. Uh, it's about the almighty God and his son. Who he sent that we may have right to the tree of life. Oh, y'all ain't going to say amen. Y'all ain't going to shout about that. But I know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. We all must be accounted for the things that we do. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Huh? 
So therefore the Lord said, amen, in the book of James, it says, keep yourself unspotted from the world. You know, we are not off, we may be in the world, but we are not off this world. I, I don't know about you, but I'm on my way to heaven. I, and when I get there, I, I want to hear the Lord say, well done. I, but how are you going to hear well done I, when you have not done well? Hallelujah. Three things that salt can do, or let me say something we can learn about salt. Amen. Now, when you go home today and you look at the salt shaker, it will never look the same to you anymore. Hallelujah. Because I'm talking about salt today. Hallelujah. You know, salt is a preservative. We all know that. Amen. Some of us are old enough to know when, amen, they used to go ahead and only kill the hog. They would salt it up. When they killed the calf, they would salt it up to preserve it. Amen. Ancient times and even now, salt is used to preserve food. The point here is, Jesus is telling us that the world around us is in a state of decay and it needs something uh, to keep it from rotting in, uh, amen, and going bad. Uh, 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 go to hell, if you will. Uh, you know, nobody want to talk about hell, uh, but good God Almighty, hell is real. Uh, so we need to get it right uh, if you want to go to heaven. Uh, come on now, uh, somebody. Somebody ought to shout, hallelujah. I thank God for the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm. Amen. If something like meat went bad, it was not the meat's fault mm -hmm. that it was not preserved or that the preservative did not do its job. Mm -hmm. We are the salt of the earth. Yes. If our brothers and sisters missed the mark, what have we done to preserve that situation? I wonder if somebody is ready to pass the salt. Oh, y'all ain't hear me. Can you imagine a world without a little bit of salt? Here the world is, meant, uh, is meat and the preservative is the salt. Are you ready to pass the salt? Hallelujah. Now, I didn't say when you got home and you got ready to eat, amen, hallelujah, that you're going to take the salt and put it on your food. Uh, what I'm saying to you, we need to put ourselves in check and realize that somebody need to hear a word from God. Uh, someone need to see the sermon uh, rather than to hear the sermon uh, that your action uh, will line up uh, with what Jesus would want us to be. Uh, are y'all hearing me right now? Uh, I give you something uh, of what I will talk about next week when he said let your light so shine uh, that men will see your good works uh, and to glorify the Father which is in heaven. Uh, I didn't say glorify you. Uh, I didn't say glorify the church. Uh, I didn't say glorify mama. Uh, not glorify daddy, uh, but glorify the Father which is in heaven. Good God Almighty. Secondly, salt is an antiseptic. Mm -hmm. huh? Salt is an, uh, 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 an antiseptic. Mm -hmm. We don't gargle salt water to stay healthy, do we? We do it because it kills the germs. Yes. Do y'all believe that? Amen. amen. When I was growing up, amen. Well, we didn't have toothpaste, which sometimes we don't. Amen. Mama would give us the, uh, the, the salt shaker. Amen. And you brush your teeth with salt. Amen. That's probably why my teeth was whiter then than it is right now. Amen. Because it sure enough will clean you up. Just the other day I had a little 
tickling on my lip, but I thought maybe a fever blister was coming on. It was kind of painful. Sister Linda said, put a little salt in your hand I, and touch it with some water. Mix it around and make a paste and put it under there. Amen. By the next day, that thing was gone and ain't bothered me no more. Uh, don't you know that salt uh, will make a difference uh, in your life? Uh, when you are the salt of the earth, uh, you can make a difference uh, in somebody's life. Uh, oh, good God. God Almighty, someone ought to say, yeah, pass the song. Yes, pass the song. Yes, amen. amen. Time to pass the song. Mm -hmm. Saul, my third point, has a flavoring influence. Mm -hmm. Without salt, food has no flavor. Right. And God knows, amen. We know us. Amen. They get their food. They ain't even tasted it yet. The first thing they do is put some salt on it. I'm sitting there, good God Almighty. You know, I'm from Jamaica, okay? I can't help to tell you this story. Amen. And one of our favorite fruit in Jamaica is a mango. Oh, good God Almighty, when it comes off the tree, amen, it's in its purest form, brother Isaac, amen, you just want to peel the skin, and you want to eat it, amen, it tastes so good, uh, hallelujah, all by itself, uh, but when I give my wife a mango, she want to cut it in half, uh, and take the salt shaker, and sprinkle it with salt, uh, and I'm saying, good God Almighty, you just ruined the taste, uh, but she said, you know what? Uh, the salt make it taste good. Oh, y'all are not hearing me right now. You know what? Uh, when you pass the salt shaker, uh, it'll make things better, won't it? Good God Almighty. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, somebody ought to cry. Pass the salt. Pass the salt. Hallelujah. Christ is saying that the Christian life ought to be like salt. And what salt is to food is what the Christian ought to be to this world. Yeah, amen. The scripture text says, but if we are the salt of the earth, mm -hmm. hallelujah, we basically need to keep our savior. Our savior. Mm -hmm. Ah, but if it's lost its savor, mm -hmm. where shall it be salted? It is then good for nothing Amen. but to be cast and trodden under the foot of man. Mm -hmm. When Jesus referred to his disciples as salt, mm -hmm. they were without question highly complimented. They did not realize how important they were prior to this statement. Mm -hmm. But Christ did not call them salt to set them out on an eagle trip or to have a behavior. He desired to impress upon them with a solemn warning. A warning that they could lose their Savior. Yes. Hallelujah, that is. They could lose their influence. Yes. They could lose their edge. Yes. Salt, pure sodium, as we know it, is now and cannot lose its saltiness. Mm -hmm. But in Jesus' day, huh, they got their salt from the Dead Sea, mm -hmm. uh, which was uh, not pure and uh, was mixed with other minerals that affected uh, the flavor. Uh -huh. In uh, time, uh, it could become uh, very tasteless. Yeah. This uh, happened uh, 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 hallelujah, that brought it uh, to taste like nothing, if you will. Uh, what I am I saying to you uh, is that amen, uh, when we get into the world, uh, we need to keep uh, our flavor, we need to keep our savor. Yes. Oh, y'all are not hearing me yes. right now, uh, yes. for God knows uh, the Bible says uh, we need to be unspotted uh, from this world. Uh, what am I saying to you? Uh, hallelujah. We are living in this world. Uh, but don't let the world uh, begin to live in you. Uh, you got to trust in the Lord. Uh, lean on the Lord. Uh, 
keep your savor after a while if you lose your savor I stop by to tell you you will be cast out trodden under the foot of man sometimes you're wondering why people will talk about you I don't know about you it's very possible you have lost your savor are you hearing me right now you want to get the salt back in check let God work on you thank God for the salt he has given you can I get a witness that God will work it out I said he will work it out thank God for the spirit of God that keeps me going thank you Lord thank you Lord like preaching right now. I, I, I know it's time for us to go home, but I can't go home till I tell you that God will work it out. Am I right about it? You want to pass the salt and let somebody know that Jesus will save your soul. Can I get a witness that God will, God will, he'll do something for you. But you got to pass the salt. Pass the salt. What good is a salt shaker sitting on a table if it ain't got no salt in it? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good God Almighty. You know, every now and then, if the salt is in you, hallelujah, and you got the salt in your shaker, you ought to sprinkle a little bit of love. You ought to sprinkle a little bit of joy. You ought to sprinkle a little bit of peace. Am I right about that? Good God Almighty, I thank God for the Spirit of God that keeps us in perfect peace. Can the church say amen? Can you shout glory? Can you shout hallelujah? Thank you. For the salt. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the salt. The salt is your character. Pass the salt. Amen. Good God Almighty. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for your quickening power. Thank you, Lord, for God, what you're doing on this day. Lord God, I believe that we all desire to keep our Savior. Lord God Almighty, because you, the Savior, has called us to be salt. Let us, O oh Father God, intend within this world. And I speak to one as I speak to 25,000. I speak to one as I speak to a hundred thousand. Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth. And if you have lost your savor, you are good for nothing but to be tossed out and to be trodden under the foot of man. Today, Jesus is calling. He's calling us to be the salt of the earth. He's calling us to be the one that will make a difference in someone's life. He's saying, that, let your influence be that of the character of the Christian that you are. Not in words, but in action. Dear Lord, I pray now, dear God, to an almighty God that not only hear the prayer, but will answer the prayer. 
Today, oh God, we are praying for our nation. We are praying for our leaders. But Lord, we are praying for every individual that have a responsibility to sprinkle love, joy, and peace that this world, this country, may be a better place. Lord, will you do it for us? Will you do it for us? In the name of Jesus. And for the one that have not accepted Christ as your Lord and your Savior, just say, Lord Jesus, here I am. Take me Make me and mold me into the person that you want me to be. Forgive me of my sins. Cleanse me of all my unrighteousness. Turn me from my wicked ways. Take control of my life and make me the person Make me the salt that you want me to be. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you all to all that are in Facebook land. God bless you. Thank you, Gloria. Thank you, Jerita. Thank you, Isaac. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you, Sister Linda. Amen. And most of all, we thank God for the word today. Amen. And you know what? When someone seems to be out of character, amen, when you hear things that should not be said, let's look him in the eye and tell them, pass the salt. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That will become a catchphrase. Pass the salt. Amen. amen. With that, we have reached, amen, the epitome and the conclusion of our service. I pray God that we did not have any hang-ups as far as buffering, amen, on our live broadcast. If it is, amen, we thank you for your patience and staying with us. May the Lord now keep you and cause his face to smile upon you. Let us now have our benediction. Now may the peace which passes all understanding causes your heart and your mind to be in the love of of his Son, our Lord, and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Now may the blessings of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost be with you and rest with you henceforth and forevermore. And the church of God will sing together. Blessed day and may amen God call.